Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera uh, Hari ini saya ada uh, seminar dengan Roy Kenin Berkenaan dengan Cap Breeder So, saya rasa uh, bagi breeder-breeder yang keluar, kat luar sana Ataupun Cat Lover Video ni sangat sesuai Korang tonton sampai habis Okay? Stay tuned Okay Thank you very much. So, let's go. <laughs> it's early Sunday morning, so everyone, I think you are waking up. <laughs> But well, for me, it's a bit odd because, well, I always wake up at 6 o'clock. But well, here, 26 o'clock is still 5 o'clock in Bangkok. <laughs> so, oh my god. It's too early for me. <laughs> a bit, but okay. I'm okay now. So, uh, actually, I'm not really that good as Kobe uh, said. I just have some experience myself that I did, did, did something in my research work and teaching. And also, I have many dogs and many cats myself, especially cat, because now they uh, at home. I have no dog at all because. The last one died just early this year. I still have five cats at home. And actually, I have only one couple. And other three are their kids. Molly, actually, you know that I have this cat for only this couple for only six years, and they have many offspring already. Just give all of them to my student. And now, they have many, many in, uh, well, like a relative from this couple, I think 100 of them around Thailand already. Oh, wow. Well. So I would like to share with you about my experience on uh, cat production. I think many of you may know much more than me in some topics, especially the topic of neonatal care, also the breeding of cats but well today I just have some new experience on uh, new finding that we have found some problem in cats either in the breeding system or non-breeding cat at home um, and it's really interesting because of many factors involved in this As you all know that cat is seasonal polyesterous, which means that actually cat have some other factors that affect the reproductive system, like as a cycle. Well, in dogs, well, actually nothing from outside, mostly are internal factors, like the hormone of themselves, but for the cats, not only from the hormonal factors, but also environmental factors. One of the main factors that affect reproductive health, reproductive health. As I think all of you know, that daylight period is a major effect for cat production. And uh, in former time, when I was a student 30 years ago, a great student. We all learn that cats are induced population and which means that they have to cooperate, they have to mate and uh, some organs like the spine and the penis of the, feet, the male have stimulate the vagina of the female and sends the sensory things to the brain to stimulate the secretion of the hormone. All hormones will raise up and then, well, the teeth all get to spoil something like that. But recently, I think, well, not so recently, about seven to eight years already, some more research on this, and we found that about 40% of cats, especially in 
the tropical area, like in our country, Thailand, Malaysia, that has quite daylight glow all year long. Forty percent of cactus has spontaneous coloration, which means that even though they have no mating at all, they can coalate during their instructions. I think all of you know, I, I will not talk about the well, exercise because I think most of you are keen on this. You know that, okay, even cats in Esther, they react differently from dogs. You know, they play, they just rock and roll, they just try to make a vocalization uniquely, blah, blah, blah. And it's short period, shorter than dogs. Dog has something like this for about a week or 10 days and then allow mating. But cat has something like half a day or two or three days and then allow mating. Then ovulation. But now we knew that. If we don't let them or we just keep them only female in the room, nice environment, they light, they can ovulate. What happens if the ovulation occurs? When the ovulation occurs, one hormone will rise. This is progesterone. We call the progesterone is a, a nice hormone for pregnancy. During pregnancy, the progesterone level have to maintain the pregnancy of cats. They facilitate the environment in the uterus and they stimulate number gland. So without real pregnancy but ovulation, cat can be in the stage of super pregnancy or fall pregnancy. Like in the home, we always found this quite often in dog, but cat, we may not really well, get used to this term. But now we know that many cats have been into pseudo pregnancy. Yeah. More than 30% up to 40% of the population, especially in our country. As you know that Actually in, actually, in the past, well, 50 years ago, something like that, most of the cats have been raised freely walking outdoor. Not many of them strictly keep indoor. But, well, everything changed. And recently, we found in some world, uh, when I was in the hospital in Bangkok, or university hospital, many owners come to us. Some live in only small room, condominium, and have cats. They never get out from the room. They stay okay. That's a change of the living style of human, of owner, and also force cat to change their lifestyle too. So sometimes we did not realize that when we change the lifestyle of any animal, something inside the body also to change. Like that, when they change the environment or the way of living, they also change something inside, like the hormonal level that they have to secrete and also exercise. Well, in some readers of cat in Thailand, there are two kinds of problems. One problem is that too many cats, too many kittens, especially in unwanted breeding cat. The other problem is that no extras or no kitten. They try to make them, but without any success. Well, that 
a problem that occurs all over the world, especially well in the place that we we sometimes think that our cat should be very fertile, like in the tropical country that has really long hair. So today I would like to talk about the this kind of problem, what is happening, and uh, how and how can we manage them. Well, as you know that in the former time, the living style of cats has something like what's going on. Most of them are free roaming, and some of them, after free roaming, domestic cat become feral cat. Well, they live outside in the water at the time. And some have been abandoned, but some not so much responsibility or to be feral. And some owners say, well, we feed them, we love them, but never let them get into the house. Just stay around the house, feed them every day. And some of them can get out and live inside. Now today, many cats, I think the number increase every day that many cats do indoor. Indoor, for me, indoor means two things. In a very small, but in a good environment, can, can live a well, very straight daylight, because you can, well, even yourself, sometimes some people doesn't want the daylight to get into your room. Close attention all the day long. And when you get out to work, forget to open cursing for your cat. But somehow, although the dead, your cat stay in your 100%, you create some environment to your cat. Nice environment, like they can go out to play with something in the garden, blah, blah, blah. but they cannot contact with other cats or other animals. This is the, the, the living style of the cats in uh, the prison. So, I think you know that cats in our tropical country can be in restaurants but in heat every now and then. Some report say that cat in tropical country can be in heat more than 20 times a year. Which means two times a month. So two times a month is 24 times a year. Yeah, because Cats has a unique reproductive cycle. If they are in heat or in estrus and not ready or no ovulation, they become in heat again in a, in a very short time with the help of the day. This is a major factor that I understand. So, well, sometimes when you change the environment and create a really short daylight exposure, how short? Many research work state that the cat has to, has to be stimulated by daylight at least 9 to 12 hours a day. Well, for, for our tropical country, 
six or half past six, they have all, 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 all the light already. And also after six o'clock, still light. So it's been more than two or half. So those factors can stimulate the extra cycle of the temperature. But in the warm country, like well, we call they have, they have summer day, summer time and winter time. Summer time is spring and summer. Well, the daylight length may long during spring and summer, but during winter time is autumn and winter. Maybe only four to six hours. It has daylight length. So that's quite different. That's a normal daylight in that country. But in our country, when we change the environment, some cats stay inside and grow in some room every dark. So sometimes no light to stimulate the cat. So some cats cannot be in the air. So it is made we call regular. It's a cycle of In at the same time, in contrast, some cats have been kept in the with daylight long, very light all day. Some owners keep the light all night as well. I, 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 I have found some of them. Ah, they say, well, because they sell like to be in the light. They never sleep without light. So the cat has to be there as well. So to get four hours, well, they're quite stimulation to the system of the cat. Is unlike natural environment. And, well, as I said, cat can be in extras quite often. And from the legislation that state that they can get population by themselves. No need to pay. So when they get into these kind of things, with numerous cases, so many times of pseudocurrency. <laughs> the uterus and the memory that has been stimulated very often. So it's come to our finding from the great. I just talked to my yesterday about this because I found this about already 10 years in Thailand. And I said yes, also in Malaysia. Because in the former time when I was still alive, we always say that cat has very little incidents, or very few incidents for pyometra or the uterine infection. But now we found a lot. Now we found a lot. But in the former time, the report said that not many. And well, we can we, we can imagine that because in the former time we can just run around. <laughs> so they meet meet up with the male and they they pregnant. They just eat birds like that. So the hormone just completely. And actually we found quite a lot in some particular breed in some Persia, Maine Coon. Uh, well, short and some, but well, to, to, to at, at our hospital, not many big spring cat or something like fetal cat as this kind of person, but big brain cat. What happened? What is the cause? So I think I, I have. Mm, nothing to see what time it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Is it still okay? <laughs> what time is that? Okay. Still. Okay. The this happened to to me. Uh, I think for all my whole life. About ten. Not many, but it's really painful because most most of the time the cat is still young, only less than one year or one or two years, and they come with a very really swollen memory gland. At first, only maybe only one or two, but then the whole thing. So in the past, maybe last seven or eight years ago, we know not much about this. But later on, also some uh, incident happened in all around the world and also in European country. Some friend of mine from France and Germany and also Holland reported that this is only a case of cat which related to progesterone. When is progesterone? When the cat becomes first estrus. Well, normally we don't breed them first. So actually when no breeding of them, well, no population. Without ovulation, no progesterone level because the progesterone produced from the ovary with the, the, uh, the organ that we call corpus luteum. Corpus luteum is some uh, well one structure in the in the in the ovary that produces progesterone, but it occurs after ovulation. Without ovulation, there's no corpus luteum. Without corpus luteum, no progesterone. But with the cat that has high chance to get ovulation spontaneously, like the cat exposed to the really high daylight exposure. They can have spontaneous ovulation and progesterone just, just right, rise quite high. And some, not all of them, is sensitive to this problem. So all memory gland just swollen by progesterone. Later on, we found that it is can be treated. It's irreversible, fortunately. But sometimes some can come late. It's not a day. The cat can die from this problem because it's very painful. It's not infection. It's no infection at all at first. But later on, it can be called secondary infection if some swollen things break down and they have wound. Infection can be over. But mostly it's no infection but inflammation. Inflammation is just something different from infection. So in, from inflammation, you cannot treat it by antibiotics. So normally we don't use antibiotics as well. But one another thing that we have to use is that we give them <coughs> what we call the progesterone receptor blocker. So even they have high visceral, the blocker of progesterone receptor will let the visceral just go around, but don't buy to the organ, the big one, to stimulate. 
so hat er gegen die Position noch the level of restore may be still high in the blood stream, but they cannot function at target organ. So how this is the name? Antifistone. Swollen place and place. During that time, we have to control well, physically and medically. Medically, we always use something like MC, which means the non steroid and the inflame. And also, ask the owner to use the cold pack. for some minutes, five minutes cold pack, and then heat pack for some minutes. Like this, at least four or five times a day to help facilitate can feel more comfortable because with the heat and the cold pack, they make some stimulation of the blood and then actually the body of the cat themselves try to eliminate the inflammatory, inflammatory cell around the person. So, well, actually this is also treatable, it's quite painful and has to educate owners a lot. Fortunately, in Malaysia you have an experience. <laughs> and I hope you will try this.